Hello, my name is Bert Boeland and I'm your host of Bert's Screencast for the day. And today's episode is called Binary, the joke's on you. Maybe you've seen this um, the slogan, there are 10 types of people, those who understand binary and those who don't. There are 10 kinds of people, those who understand binary and those who don't. Depending on if you know the answer. Um, basically, binary is a base two system, so 10 actually reads two. So there are two kinds of people, those who understand binary and those who don't. Mm, is it a good joke? Maybe it is, but yeah, watch this episode and you can counter the joke even funnier. So let's go to uh, the title binary, the joke's on you. And uh, let's explain what actually happening behind the scenes. So I want to explain why 10 isn't per se binary. And to do that, I'll, um, I'll take you to a couple of uh, easy to understand uh, uh, numbers. This in normal uh, decimal system would read 1234. And what it is, is it is in fact, um, if you look at it, four times one, three times 10, two times 100, and one times 1,000, right? This is thousands, these are one hundreds, and these are tens, and these, this is counting fours, and totally 1,234, correct? Yes, this is the easy part. So if we say this, 1,234, it is in fact four times 10 to the power of O, which equals one, so it's four, 3 times 10 to the power of 1, which equals uh, 10, so 3 times 10, and 2 times 10 to the power of 2, which equals 100, so 200, yes, so it's 200, and 1 times 10 to the power of 3, which equals 1000, which equals uh, 1 times 1000 is 1234. Still easy? Okay. Now let's go with that. Beyond this, if we say 1,234, it is in fact 4 times 10 to the position minus 1. So this is measured from the left. It's the first position from the left, minus 1. So P is 1 minus 1 is 0. And we knew that 10 to the power of 0 is 1. So it still says 4 times 1. 3 the same times 10 to the power position from the left so that's the second position minus 1 so that's uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 so it is in fact 3 times 10 and that's the same as it says here correct so we do the same for 2 it's 2 times the position minus 1 it's the third position so it's 2 so it's 2 times 100 and the last one, this is of course 3, which is 1000, so it's 1 times 1000, totaling still 1334. Correct? Correct. Oh, let's do it in a green. Correct. Hmm, this isn't working. Correct. That's working. Okay, so we go to the next step. 1234 is in fact 4 times base p minus 1 from the left, so that's 1, we knew that. It's, this is in fact um, this is in fact 1 minus 1 is 0 and the base is 10 in this case so it's 10 times 0 is 4 times 1 this is 3 times base 10 so it's 10 to the power of p minus 1 uh, 3 times sorry 3 times a 10 so this would be 2 times 100 and this would be 1 times 1000 right so we still got the 1344 okay if we understand that that is base 10 that's only due because we have 10 fingers if we wouldn't have 10 fingers we wouldn't have a, a, a decimal system is that true yeah that's true so i cut this one off 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 sorry for the bad draw I draw better. So we only have four fingers in total. Zero, one, two, three, and I want to go to four, but I can't go to four because I don't have enough fingers. So I use another digit, and that's measuring base four, the number of four. So it's one times four, and for example, three times 
1. So if we go here and I go to a base 4 system, you'll see that 0, only a 0, or maybe we should write leading zeros here, 0, 0 is 1 times for the last 0, 4 to the power of 0, because it's the position measured from the left, uh, from the right, sorry. Um, 0, 1 is 1 times 4 to the power of this is 1, this is 1, this is 1, this is 1. Okay, so it's still 2 times. So it's 2, and this is still 3, and this is still 1, and this is still O. But 1 O is 1 times 4 to the power of 1, equaling 4 times. This is 0. So this would be, in our system, 4. So 1 O in our system, decimal system, would be 4. And 1 1 is 1, 4 to the power of 1 equaling 4 and 1 times 4 to the power 0 equaling 1. So in our system this would be 5 in a decimal system. Decimal system. And the same goes for this would be 6. Now if we understand that, now we can count to the yoke there 10 kinds of people. In base 2 it would be 1 O is 1 times 2 to the power of 1 equaling 1, so it's 1 times 1. Um, to the power of 1 is 2, so it's 1 times 2 equaling 2, and 0 times 2, so the total is 2. But in a base 3 system it would be, 1 O would be 1, 1 times 3 to the power of 1, the position minus 1, that's 3, so it's 1 times 3 is 3, plus 0, so the total would be 3. Um, in a base 4 system it would be 1 times 3 to the power, 4 to the power of 1, etc. So it would be in a base 4 system, it would be 1 over would be 4. In a base 5 system, 5 system, 1 over would be 5. In a decimal system, a base 10 system, 1 over would be ta da! 10. So that's the starting of the joke. So there are 1 over kind of people, those who understand binary and those who don't. Mm, ternary is the term for base 3. There you go, base 3. And we could counter the joke. There are one or kind of people, those who understand binary, true. Those who don't, true. And then you say, and those who didn't know it was a ternary joke. Funny. So there you go. Binary, the joke's on you. I hope you understand what a base system is, how counting works in, uh, in different base systems, and that some smart people can always be outsmarted by an easy joke like and those who didn't know it was a ternary joke there you go i hope you enjoyed it uh, see you next time take care bye